Okay, hey guys, it's Bob. Welcome to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. If you've been to my channel before, as always, thank you so much for checking me out again. If you're new to my channel and if you like what you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out. Thank you so much. I want to take just one minute. This won't take long. And just a heads up, I'm going to be reacting to an Aurora song. So uh, that's a little teaser for you. Uh, just, I wanted to just toss something out really, really quick. Many of you know, if you've watched my videos, that I've gone through a little bit of a health issue. One is this cough that just refuses to go away, but that's something different. Whenever I get a cough, it always lasts like a month. I don't know why. It's been like that since I was young. So I'm battling through that. So if I do cough during this, just bear with me. I'll try not to be uh, too much of a distraction in that. The other thing is, as I get older, I've always looked on my body for spots and stuff like that. And I did find one that looked a little funny so I went to the dermatologist and the good news is it was good uh, the bad news is they found another spot that didn't even look like a spot to be honest with you that didn't look as good so they did a biopsy and it's right here and it turned out to be cancer um, not a terrible form of cancer it's very treatable so um, this is not going to be an issue and I'm not at all worried about it but it is eye-opening and what's concerning to me about it is that you couldn't see anything. I mean, it looks a little red now only because um, I had a biopsy done on it. But before, there was no color. And I've always thought that for something to be like cancer, it would be like a dark color and stuff. Bottom line, go to the dermatologist, especially as you start getting older and if you've been in the sun a lot. Even if you're younger, it doesn't hurt once in a while to go. But go get checked out because stuff that you didn't even know existed could be a problem and you hate to be living with something um, that's as negative as cancer and have it be something that you could have easily had checked out so here's my word of advice go to your dermatologist once a year it's well worth it so enough of that um, thank you for listening to that Okay, so it's time to take another look at an Aurora song. I get to see her next month. So this month now, yes. Um, actually, like three weeks, something like that. So I'm looking forward to that. There were a lot of requests and um, suggestions for her songs. And I looked at those, and I looked at the number of views that these songs had. And one seemed to really jump out at me. And that is called Running With The Wolves. So I thought I would react to that one. The title is definitely intriguing to me. It sounds so wild and raw that it kind of drew me in. I'm like, okay, that's the one I'm going to do. Honestly, though, I haven't run into an Aurora song that I haven't found anything short of amazing. So I don't think anything that I would have picked would have been the wrong choice. Her uh, wonderful voice, her thoughtful lyrics and her expressions that she does all play into her performances and I am really looking forward to hearing this one because it's been a little while since I've listened to an, an Aurora song and when I'm done with this reaction I get to add another one to my playlist so that's awesome okay let me get this set up and again thanks for listening and go to your dermatologist and um, I'll get everything set up and I'll be right back hold on all right I am back so we are going to be listening to, like I said, Aurora singing Running with the Wolves. I decided to go with the studio version this time. I usually do live cuts, but I don't do a lot of studio versions, so I thought I would give this one a shot and see how it goes. And if it's a really good song and I really, really like it and I get a lot of requests, maybe I can do another reaction to the live version of it. But let's just go with this for now, and we'll start it up and see where it takes us. Here we go. Oh, the echo 
better stop it here or I'll be summing up the song at the end um, wow she looks so young here doesn't she I love the setting also um, she almost looks like she's trying to run away from the city and while doing that she's restrained in some way I'm not sure if those are actual physical restraints or, or constraints or if they're mental constraints knowing Aurora um, it's probably more mental than actual physical constraints. That would almost appear to be too easy, too obvious <laughs> for her. Um, I like this song a lot. It's a bit different from hers that I've uh, heard in the past. That doesn't make it bad. I like it a lot. And it's got a very singable chorus. Not all of her choruses, they're all singable, obviously, but this is more of a traditional if you will in, in as, as far as Aurora goes it's probably more traditional of a chorus than other songs that I've heard of hers and I do love how she emphasizes the word wolves and it's almost like a howling sound so I, I like that a lot I think it adds a, um, a lot to the, the feel of the song I don't get the significance of the car at least not yet um, but I'm sure maybe I'll figure it out. So far, this appears to be another example of a, a well-thought-out uh, song and video from Aurora because she's already got me thinking, and my, I can see my thought process is going in several directions. So uh, that's typical Aurora, and uh, she's got all her hand movements and everything. I swear she could come up with her own sign language because when she says something like singing or something, you know, she's doing gestures from her mouth and um, that adds so much to a song because you're not actually you're not only hearing the words you're kind of seeing him the way she portrays uh, the words with her hands and stuff so I like that a lot all right let's keep going I'll play this to the end since it's almost there already and then we'll talk about it some more here we go I'm 
Yeah, I did play through a lot of that song at first. Um, okay, I'm glad she finally broke free. I was beginning to wonder if she was going to break free or not. Um, this is making uh, a little more sense now, now that I've seen the whole thing. I think now that I've seen the entire video, it makes a little more sense to me. At first, I didn't realize that her constraints were wires. To me, at first, they looked like um, tree roots or branches or something. So I'm guessing that the wires are probably connected to the city. Um, and that it's just a big clunk of wires that's holding her back. It kind of resembles the back of my computer and the uh, ball of wires that I have behind it. Whenever I have to unplug something, that's always a chore. You know, now that I think of it, maybe that's her point. Maybe she's trying to break free from technology and trying to get to a simpler place because looking at the end of this she's definitely out in the open uh, with trees and back to nature maybe maybe that's the point of the video um, I'm not sure that would that would make sense and knowing that she does have a big love for nature that would that would make sense I wasn't able to listen um, as close to the lyrics as I would have liked to um, I'm kind of wondering if they if that would have helped if I would have heard them a little bit more. That still brings me back to the car. What the heck is that car doing there? Maybe the car I saw was, um, shoo, boy, just symbolism of what she's trying to escape from and the battle of that trying to catch up with her. Just something else she was breaking away from. Again, I've watched this one time. I didn't hear the lyrics 100%, so I could be way off. But that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. This was almost, it was a very catchy, almost anthem sound to it, isn't it? I can actually see myself um, singing this in some situations if I'm trying to get away from something. Like you want to break out and you're going to go run with the wolves because uh, they're so free and um, they are amazing animals. As a side note, I have a friend who is very close with the wolves. She lives up north, and some of the pictures I see that she takes of not just the wolves, but like a, even their paw prints, just it brings you to nature so much. I just love it. And it's an amazing animal, and I think really misunderstood. But anyways, that's beyond the scope of this video. I think I, I, I'm going to guess that this is probably, like I said, she's trying to break away from the city or technology and just trying to get out to nature that's i'm gonna go with that and i'm sure if i'm wrong i'll hear it from you guys <laughs> and if i am please let me know i want to know all right let me get everything cleaned off here let me regroup just for a second and i will be back as always for my final thoughts hold on okay guys welcome back you know what to be honest uh, doing these reactions it does get a little difficult sometimes to get a real good feeling as to where the video is trying to take you uh, just in one listen so that's probably when I do these reactions that's probably one of the uh, biggest challenges I have because I just feel like so much can be missed when you're only watching it one time and while you're watching it you're trying to listen to the lyrics you're trying to watch the video you're trying to come up with is there any symbolism and stuff like that and it gets difficult but I I feel at least my take on it, I feel pretty good about it. She was definitely trying to escape something. And seeing the wires, like I said, I'm just going to go with my original gut feeling that it was, she's trying to get away from technology. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were several layers to this lyrics, though. Um, I think she almost likes when people interpret and i could be wrong but i've read a lot of your comments on this i think she almost enjoys it when people interpret her songs in different ways i think she likes the debate and the uh, discussion that goes along with her lyrics and her her videos um good for her because that's kind of what music is about is to get people talking i think i'm starting slowly to get a much better handle on aurora and I am definitely more familiar now as far as what she does and how she presents herself and how she presents her songs. I got to say that this is such a unique and interesting artist. I just 
I'm so intrigued by her. Wouldn't it be cool just one time to sit down with her for like an hour just to talk? I just think she would would bring such an interesting perspective on so many subjects that I just think it would be interesting. Once I am further into Aurora and I've reacted to more of her songs, I'll probably start searching more of her uh, videos that maybe have interviews with her because I'm sure they're out there. I just haven't watched them. So I'll have to do that. But I kind of want to get a little further into her music a little bit. So I have a little bit of an understanding um, as far as where she's coming from a little bit deeper than I, I do right now. But I am slowly getting handle of it. And to, what's today? I don't know what today is, the 7th or something. So I got about three weeks till I see her. And that will be fun. Okay, guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed the song, and I always enjoy talking some music with you guys, so that's been fun. If you like this video, and if you would do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and even subscribe to my channel, that would be great. At the end of this video, I will also have a link to a Cabinet of Curiosities uh, video, and if you'd like to see that, check that out as well. All right, guys, listen, thank you. Thank you, thank you, and go see your dermatologist, okay? Peace out, guys. Take care. Bye.